All right, Jeremy, what's your plan for this radiator? I'm gonna cut it up. I'm gonna cut right down the welds on both sides and take the end tanks off. Why are you doing that? Uh, I'm gonna make it into a triple pass. So I'm gonna put dividers in the top and bottom tank so when the water comes in, it's immediately forced down into one third of the, the core. That has to flow over, hit a divider and flow up through the middle third of the core, flow over, then back down into the last part of the core. And because it's going through three times, it's like having three small radiators. That's why it's called a triple pass. Um, and that should make it cool a lot, a lot better. So right now, like, like you said, it kind of takes the path of least resistance. It's only getting cooled once, then back into the engine. Um, and the other advantage of this is Jay-Z's are known to cavitate the water pumps. Um, and, and this would actually probably help that at high RPM to prevent cavitation because it's actually, it's kind of, kind of simulating like cutting a valve down to prevent cavitation, like in industry, that's that's what they used to do before they had variable speed pumps, variable speed drives. They cut the, the valve closed a little bit to kind of simulate uh, what we're doing here, which is essentially adding adding more resistance into the system. Right. And that should slow the, the fluid down uh, to prevent give, cavitation. Give it time to cool. Yeah. Also. So that kind of hits it on two spots. Kind of the double whammy. They're both might be negligible separate, but I think together they could make a pretty big difference in cooling. I think this will, will help a lot. Couple that with uh, putting a fan, an actual fan shroud on this with a 16 inch small fan, I think would, would help a lot. Then if that don't work, we're putting a swirl pot on it too. Then while we're in there, we have a hole on this one tube. And that's going to be pretty tough to repair for me to repair right now. So Just once this is so when this is cut open, I can go in from the back side, the inside, weld that and shot. weld that one tube shut without destroying any of the other tubes. headphones sitting over there if you want to grab them. Check that out. Yes. You didn't make this. I made this. Where'd you get this at? I made it. It's pretty nice. It's all right. Whipped it up real quick. Needed a bumper to drive this beast. Is it done? No, I want to add a little bit more. Another, another piece that goes across and uh, angles up and notches in to the end of the tube here and then that should be about it for now who did these welds i did those hmm. this is kind of my practice pretty nice there's something you just whipped up in your spare time yeah i did this the other night she should work could ram all the things with it i'm gonna ram you <laughs>
Definitely doesn't like cutting like through that well vertically like that. That's okay. It's it's the whole way through. I think I definitely had been cool in this thing because of the way it's. What's that? Smelling when it's getting hot. Cooling in it. Yeah, there had been coolant in it. Is your water wetter? Uh, I don't think I've uh, coolant ever though. Hmm. Well, uh, there could have been coolant in the BMW. That's right. Maybe just a little bit. Something. Well, there it is, top and bottom. So I can load on it. Okay. Make up the dividers. And then load it all the back together. Sounds Which we'll have to wait for another day, I think. Sounds good. Day two. Mm. What are you doing here? What are uh, you? I'm gonna clean. I'm gonna clean these end tanks and this uh, thing out. I'm gonna use this awesome cleaner here. So it's pretty good at cleaning aluminum without really contaminating it. Just because I'm a hemophiliac. Oh man, are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I'm just getting a piece of scotch right. here with the dividers to make this into a triple pass and I have marked on the radiator uh, end tank where this is going to fit directly between the fins uh, on so this, I have it marked so it fits perfectly between one of those so it's going to make the best seal because we're not going to be able to weld it down there because we're, right. we're going to be able to weld it on one side I'm going to weld it here so it has the best place to seal. Where all the meat's at. Right. So I'm going to weld that in there. And, and that so, should seal it up real good. So the coolant's going to come in. It's going to come in of here. going all the way over here, it's going to be stopped by this. It's going to stop there and flow down. And then it's going to come across and hit this divider. And flow up. And then back down again. Awesome. So I, I welded that and I welded that seam, the other side of that seam because it looked like shit. But it's, it's in there, it'll work. Oh yeah, perfect. Perfect. Wow. Would oh, you man. take a gander at that? Oh, ain't that mate? I mean, it looks pretty sealed to me. They're sealed. So now I'm going to just try and melt that down and seal it up so it don't leak. Then flip it over and do the other, the other side of that too. I wish I could have put more heat to it to really get that to flow out into this bottom plate. But again, I don't want to 
melt it. I don't want to destroy it. any of these other fins. I didn't like whatever was right there. Little little explosion or something. Yeah, she like blew out my fucking tungsten. Damn. Uh, I still gotta do like the, these like two and a half inch sides here. Like all about this and then one on each. Nice. You think I should do some cinematic slow motion shots? I don't think that's necessary for this one. Oh, let's see. I might go back over this top, make it prettier tomorrow. I don't know. No, I don't do it, Jeremy. Well, it's fine. It, it looks shitty because it looks like the weld's like really wide when all I did was go over a be old bead. Yeah, hey, it's all right. And it looks a lot better down here. I think with some rest, I could. No, oh, no. Looking good. That looks good to me. I, send, I say it. send it. It, it. it holds, I'm sure. Well, uh, yeah, I think I say test it first to see if it holds. And then if it's good, it's good. Right. 